Okay guys, so I am going to show you how I get my money's worth out of these Bath & Body Works candles. As you can see, I have this many candles, right? About 10 or so maybe. And all of them, all the wicks have burned down, but as you can see, there's plenty of wax still left. So we're gonna make use of this today. I don't even know the words to say it, but I Googled here on YouTube how to do it. So I'm gonna try it myself today. So I went to Michael's and I got some candle wicks. These are nine inches, yeah. I have 24, is it 24? Nine inch medium wicks. 24, yeah, nine inch medium wicks. And I have the centering tool for the wicks. And I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to use this for, but we'll see. I've already took the wax out of this one. So this is an empty jar. And then get an old pot, fill it halfway with water, and put your candle in there so that the wax melts or whatever. So that's what I'm doing, just waiting for it to like melt. I have it on a medium heat. So we're going to see. I'll come back in a minute once we get ready to do this process. Okay, so this is how I have it centered. Don't ask me if that's correct because I have no clue. But this is how I have it on there. Now I'm about to get my son to hold the camera while I pour the candle wax and we'll see how it goes. So let's see, just a minute. I need you to hold the camera for me so I can do my wax. Stand there so I can see. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be right there. Right there. Make sure it's not crooked. Okay. And you have to be really careful because it's really hot. Like, go really, really hot. I wish I had like a smaller glove, but I just got an old oven mitt. So we're going to try to put it, pour it in there like that. without getting it everywhere. Empty. So of course my wicks have moved, but <laughs> we're gonna hopefully <laughs> they lay down. I don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna leave them like that. If they're crooked, then they're crooked, but at least I'm gonna get a candle out of this. So we'll see shortly. Okay guys, so this one is cooling down and I the black stuff is what they call it with the salt, the soot or whatever. So it's no way for me to get rid of that, but hopefully the candle still burns like it's supposed to. I'm working on my second candle on the instructions on the stick. It says wrap around the jar. So this is what I have. So I'm currently doing another one. And as you can see, that's where the black stuff comes from. So we're going to see how it goes. I'll come back and let you all know shortly. But this is where we are. And this is how many candles I have left to go. Bye. Okay, guys, a little voiceover part. This is the end. My son started watching TV, so of course I couldn't finish talking to you guys. But I was able to make two and a half candles out of 12. I had a total of 12. So I was able to make two whole ones and a half candles. So I feel good. I feel like I'm not throwing anything away. And towards the end, I just wrapped the wick around the stick. And I think that was 
easier than those little silver things, whatever they were. That was easier to make the wick stand in place while I poured the melted wax in the candle. So we're going to come back because of course I saved about four jars and I'm going to try to make my own candle so we're going to try that eventually but drop down and let me know if you do this if you use candles at all if not then what do you do when you have leftover wax but the wick is gone tell me what you do and as always if you enjoyed today's video please make sure you like share comment and subscribe and i'm gonna catch y'all later bye guys